Hello, I know I'm holding the microphone because it's a windy day. Uh, I'm up at Camp Bob and I've been working on my shelter. I'll go in and I'll show you around briefly. Um, the storms we've had of late have brought down quite a number of trees and no shelters were damaged by the trees falling. However, two trees that were moving just behind my shelter moved so much they contacted the back of the shelter and pushed it off its little concrete blocks. It was sat on some little concrete pavers to keep it out of the wet and it's pushed it off those and into the ditch. So I've decided to move it. So let's go in and I'll, I'll show you around so far. Hello and welcome back on another slightly breezy day up here at Bob. I'm up today on my own um, because we've been building cabins or moving cabins. John's building a new cabin, Gaz is on with a new cabin. Uh, the winter winds have trashed shelters. Uh, well, the winter has shown us some of the difficulties of having temporary shelters up here at Bob. Tarps have been ripped and you're constantly replacing them if you leave them up. So we've moved to cabins or, sh or, or sheds. I call mine a shed. Mine is a shed. Others are sheds. Um, on the line of uh, shantytown shacks. Uh, but people are getting more professional in their shack building, shall we say. And John's on with a new one. It's, it is slightly bigger than, than his last one and that's because he wants to bring his granddaughter up with him and his wife and they're going to spend time up here now. Uh, especially, you know, it's difficult to get away on holidays. It's nice to be able to get away somewhere, even if it's just for an extended weekend. So he's on with his cabin. Gaz is on with the cabin. He's always had a bit of a, a tarp shelter, but he's he's going to make himself a, a cabin or a shed. And uh, mine got damaged by the storm. Not by the storm directly, but indirectly. Uh, I've had to move mine. Now, you'll see behind me is where my cabin or shed used to be and it's gone and the reason it's gone is the trees behind me those trees directly behind me uh, were flexing in the wind now they haven't been damaged by the wind but they flexed so much they connected with my cabin and pushed it off its little concrete pads and it ended up in the ditch just behind me in the drainage ditch so last week i came up with my son-in-law craig geez craig uh, and he helped me take it apart and it's stacked up over yonder with a tarp over it. Um, the only bits are left are... Well, I'll, I'll point the camera over there and show you which bits are left. As you can see, these are the two offending trees that were flexing so much they pushed my shelter off its little concrete blocks and into the ditch just in front. Um, the site's a bit of a mess because it's a workshop site at the moment. That's the deck that used to be in front of my cabin. Uh, as you can see, the cabin's gone. They're the little concrete pavers I was using as pads to sit my shed on. And it just pushed them off that. So I've moved it, not far, just forward a little bit away from the trees. And today I've been up and on my own, I've reassembled the frame and uh, squared off and leveled the, the platform. Now to be fair, and I've got to say a big thanks to Gary, John and uh, Stevie Telford. They were up last week working on the shelters and they just picked that base up and shifted it for me onto the new pads. And I couldn't have done that on my own, so many thanks to them. And today, as I say, I've just been levelling off and squaring off the, the, the uh, platform. But the weather was so nice and mild and the wind wasn't blowing earlier i pressed on and reassembled the frame and yes i'm not a joiner and yes it's not properly done and ugh, it's a shack in the woods it's strong enough it got through the storms it needs to be clad and the thing i clad it with for cost and ease of getting the bits up here and moving them bit by bit are fence boards it's the same thing the platform's made out of. It's just made out... The platform's... The deck is made out of 18mm fence boards, pressure-treated fence boards. 
and the walls and the roof are clad in 16 mil pressure treated fence boards 150 mil wide Blah. ow i've fallen over uh, state the obvious you silly old git anyhow while i'm down here you can see the construction of the pad uh, the platform 4b2 pressure treated timber two are acting as bearing beams and the rest are toe nailed onto the top of it to take the load and it's been up for the best part of two years and hasn't bored warped or farted so i'm happy with it i'm going to put some little blocks into the middle of that beam to spread the load but i can do that any old time and today the wind's getting up and i've fallen over and feel like a tit so i'm going to go oh, and i've just noticed there's a screw that i haven't driven home over this past 18 months two years yeah since it's been up it has twisted a bit it wasn't as some of the, the i had trouble squaring it off because there's some of the timbers board i should have put more cross members in but i was being tight ah uh, well i'll get the cladding on it and it'll sort it all out it is only a shack in the woods after all um you might ask why i put it over the ditch the simple reason is it this area is prone to flooding and if it's over the drainage ditch it's out of the water uh, and it's just a matter of keeping the ditch clear especially down stream of me shall we say if i i, I tend to wander down during the year and uh, make sure there's nothing blocking it rake it clean I'm not too bothered about above me uh well that tree's moving a bit on the side of the shelter but it survived the worst of the storm so it should be all right there's still a few trees that we have to bring down that have pulled out the roots but anyway the wind's getting stronger and i'm up here on my own and i've just put all my tools away uh so i just thought i'd do a little video about my progress so far and now i have to see if i can get up bear with right here we are so that's going to be the front of my cabin obviously well not obviously but that's going to be the front of my cabin and that framework that's propped up against the front i'm going to reuse that that's a bit left over from one of the guys that's left from his shelter when it was taken down and i'm going to reuse that to make a porch on the front I used to have a big tarp that was suspended but the wind keeps ripping them down so i'm going to take that put it on some posts and put it on in front of my cabin that's the plan uh may as well reuse recycle as they say uh yeah i'm quite happy with what i got done today the rest of the timber the boards are under my tarp over there the tarp that used to be above it and press on well that's me done for the day i think i'm going to go i'm going to go and shoot a bit of video of john's shelter which is drying out so you can see it's driving out drying out ish if the sound's funny it's because it's windy there you go john you might have to take the roof down and fettle it but it's kept the weather off and your floor's dried out which is good so just thought i'd show, shoot a bit of video let you see your floor right that's me done as you can see that's jo john's new cabin in the background uh still under construction it's a nice day not not too chilly it's quite mild actually and it's quite bright um just the wind's starting to pick up and i've fallen over and it's sickened me a bit so i'm gonna call it a day i am be back up on friday continue with my shelter and also there's the 
mini meet this Friday, Saturday. So there'll be people coming up. I think Ryan and Dave are coming up on Friday and staying Friday night and Saturday night. I'm not, I don't know if I'm staying. Uh, depends how I feel physically after, because I'm knackered and uh, I'm having a lot of trouble with the arthritis at the moment. So work have been great. They're now letting me work from home three days a week to save me having to walk around their site. But that by the by, you know, I feel like I'm a bit of a, a swine really. I'm coming out on my days off and doing this. Um, but I suppose I'm only doing a couple of hours at this and then resting for a couple of days. Anyhow, I digress. I'm going home. I've done enough. It's mid-afternoon. Uh, and I'm starting to struggle. So enough's enough. And especially if I'm going to get back on Friday. Anywho, when the cabin's finished, it'll save me dragging a lot of kit here. You know, pots and pans and stuff like that. I tend to leave them here. You know, no one cares if they go walk about. They're only cheap ones from Poundland and stuff like that. Uh, well, not Poundland. What's that other thing? Home bargains and Wilkinsons and places like that. Cheap stuff. Doesn't matter if it fails after a while. You can just get another one. Um, yeah, learnt my lesson when we had the the visitors a year or so ago, and decent stuff went missing. So don't leave anything here now. If you're not prepared to lose it, don't leave it. So, there you go, such is life. Uh, right, I'm back to the main gate. So that's it. It's a bright blue sky, bright day, blue sky, soft white fluffy clouds. And if it wasn't for that wind, it'd be absolutely gorgeous. But hopefully I'll see some of you on the weekend, over the weekend, if I'm here. If not, who knows? Anyhow, ta-ra!